What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Throughout the last two years of having this YouTube channel, I've had the ability to play a wide variety of guitars, whether it be at NAMM or at different music stores or just guitars that people have sent me uh, over the last two years. But every once in a while you come across a guitar that resets the bar in terms of design, craftsmanship, and quality. Today we take a look at the Virtus 7 from Dean Gordon Guitars. So I hope you guys enjoyed that obligatory music video, which is pretty much there just to give you guys an idea of what this guitar sounds like in a rough mix. But now it's time to get into the styling and the specs of this guitar. What I feel that Dean Gordon has done very, very well is he's found a way to make his guitars, or at least the Virtus line, unique and not overdone. It's not cheesy. It's not going to the extremes of crazy pointy things and just kind of looking just off the charts. It still looks really classy, it looks really good, and it all flows very well together. And at the same time, it's very different from everything else. And it's definitely not something you're afraid to pull out of the case and play in front of people. The corners of the guitar are very smooth. Uh, it's got really cool carved lines in it. It just has a very futuristic, but very comfortable feel. Now you can just tell that every inch of this guitar was planned out and made with purpose. Now moving on from that, the second thing that's definitely gonna jump out at you is this gorgeous 4A flame maple top. I mean, it just doesn't really get any nicer than this in the world of guitars. The top of this guitar will be stacked up against any other extremely high-end hand-built guitar, regardless of what brand we're talking about. It just looks absolutely stunning. I'm gonna do the best I can to translate this through video, but it's really one of those things that you just really have to see up close for yourself. It just looks 
so good. Now moving on from that, the body of this guitar is a two-piece white limba, which has a little bit of a beige-ish, uh, you know, kind of a darker brown color in the back, which just flows so well with the top of this guitar, and it flows so well with the overall feeling of this guitar, which you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a couple of minutes. Now the part that I feel really brings this entire guitar together and just makes it all flow as one piece is this amazing, amazing neck. The neck is 4A flamed Michigan silver maple and uh, it's stained with a very interesting choice of color it's called ox blood red just staining it that color essentially brought together the entire guitar i mean like i said i don't know if the camera is going to really do this any justice i'm going to take as many different shots as i can in the b-roll section and show you guys up close but like i said about the top of this guitar it's really something that you just have to see and feel in person it just looks absolutely amazing i feel like this detail is really what ends up bringing the entire guitar together. We have an Indian rosewood fingerboard, uh, which just looks and plays amazing. It's not that really bright rosewood, and I think you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. That's typically can be associated with like a cheaper instrument. Uh, it's got a very dark, rich color to it. It just looks really, really good. Now down here at the bottom is probably the part of the guitar that I had the most questions about the last time I did a Dean Gordon Virtus. That was a Virtus 6, and that was, is this sturdy? Is this aluminum grade piece at the bottom a sturdy piece? Does it feel flimsy? Does it feel like it's gonna break off? Does it flex at all when you're playing? No, it does not feel like it's gonna break off. It does not feel flimsy whatsoever. It is very quality, it's very sturdy. And as far as you can tell when you're playing it, you kind of forget that it's there. You just feel like you're holding a guitar. You don't necessarily feel like you're holding a guitar that has a separate piece attached to it in the bottom. Uh, it just flows very, very well and it fits very nicely and it makes for a very, very comfortable feel when you're playing. Now this is a 25 and a half inch scale guitar with 24 jumbo frets and we have a 12 to 16 inch compound radius. The neck is a modern thin C neck profile. Now th this in my opinion is what really makes or breaks a seven string for most people these days. The thicker and bigger the neck of a guitar, the harder it is to play, obviously depending on what style of music you're trying to play. If you're just trying to go to Riff City over here on the first and second fret, you're probably not gonna have a problem with that. But if you're trying to use your seven string guitar as an overall instrument and you wanna play various styles of music on your seven string guitar, then it's really important that the neck be thin, be comfortable, and it's very important that it almost feels like you're playing a six string, if that makes any sense. Obviously, you want the comfort and you want the accessibility of a six string guitar without having to deal with the jumbo size nature of a seven string guitar, and that's exactly what is achieved here on this guitar. Couple that with the finish on the back of it, making it very easy to move your hands comfortably around the neck, and you have a very playable and very comfortable version of a seven string neck. I think he did a really, really good job with this. I really like it. Now, moving on to our hardware, we have these really, really cool tuners. Now, I know these aren't necessarily new to the guitar scene. You can still find these tuners on different guitars, but I feel that it's just a perfect choice to put on this guitar. And just the unique nature of this overall guitar look and feel, it just seemed perfectly fitting to have this style of tuners up top here. These are hip shot locking tuners. And while your brain's immediate reaction may be that it's gonna be tough to turn these whenever you're trying to tune the guitar, whenever you're trying to fine tune it, uh, it's definitely the opposite. These work just as good as regular regular tuners. The gearing of these tuners ensures that it's very, very easy to turn them regardless of tension. Moving on to the bottom, we have the hip shot bridge. We have one volume knob, one tone, and a five-way switch selector uh, giving you the option of all those different tones. It's all about flexibility. I love that. So let's get on to the subtle nuances and the subtle details that I think really set this apart from other guitars and really showed the full attention to detail that was taken when this guitar was made. If you look in the back here on the neck joint, uh, on the screws, you have these red O-rings. And I feel like it was just a perfect choice. I don't think it's something that a lot of people would have thought of offhand, but now that they're there, it's such a nice added touch. The way that the neck has this red tint to it, the way that the overall color of the guitar just kind of flows together. It's just a perfect addition and it fits so well. And in the placement of where it's at really helps tie everything together. Down here at the electronics cavity, you have a matching wood piece to the neck stained the exact same color with the same flame maple stripes, which again, just helps this entire thing flow together. It's just so cohesive, it looks so good. And it just reminds you, like I said, the attention to detail, these subtle nuances that bring everything together is what makes this such a special guitar. And then coming up to the very top, uh, and honestly, this is probably, for whatever reason, this is one of my favorite parts of this guitar. And that is the Dean Gordon logo and the headstock of the guitar. 
I believe it's a piece of acrylic that is cut out in the DG logo and put up top here. And it just looks so cool. They could have just put any logo they wanted to on the top of this. I think just given the premium, the quality nature of this guitar and all the attention to detail that's been everywhere else. It's just so fitting that it's a different style of logo and it's got that really cool shine whenever the light hits it. It's different, but I think it's awesome. Now moving on to what brings the whole surface together and that is the guitar pickups. This is a set of Guitar Marie Atlas 7 pickups and this build alone is a testament to just how good and in my opinion underrated the Guitar Marie is as far as doing custom bobbin builds for guitars. Now, if you look at the top of them, they match insanely, insanely well with the surface of this guitar. I don't think anybody could have done a better job. It just, the way that they stripe out the color, the tint, everything about these bobbins just looks perfect for this guitar. If I was to order a set of pickups for this guitar, I would never imagine that they would come out so perfect. Uh, on top of that, you have the sound of the pickups, which is another area where I think that the Guitar Marie is extremely underrated. These pickups are extremely just aggressive and give you all of that mid-range bite when you want it. And when you don't, they're extremely dynamic. You can keep them quiet. You can make extremely cool ambient tones. You can do whatever you want. You want country, you want jazz, you want blues. You're gonna get that. They just sound amazing. And it's an amazing set of pickups for honestly, just an amazing quality build. So enough of the blabbing, enough of going over all the specs. At the end of the day, I know what you guys really care about is what these guitars really sound like. And I know I gave you a taste of that in the music video in the beginning of this, but let's pull it out of the mix and let's get all of these raw tones. So I'm gonna give you guys as many different scenarios as I possibly can so that you guys have a very good audio representation of what this guitar sounds like. So let's get into it.
honestly, I hope that I've given you guys a really good visual and audio representation of what you can expect from a build from Dean Gordon. Uh, you know, first off, I wanna thank him for sending me this guitar. When you put as much time and effort as he does into building something, it's an insane compliment that he's even willing to ship it to me and trust this guitar in my hands for a certain amount of time. So thank you to him. I hope he's happy with the way his guitar is represented here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you guys see when I post another video. I will catch you guys on the next one.